fashion and streetwear trends are constantly changing and evolving. Keeping up with numerous current trends can get stressful and expensive. To keep you and your style updated, I'll explain what trends have seemed to die out in 2022. Something that was a huge trend that I haven't been seeing nearly as much lately is workwear. Now this makes sense as it's not comfortable wearing double knees and Carhartt jackets when it's 80 degrees outside. However, there's still ways to wear workwear in the spring. Spring options like cut off double knees, work shirts, or light chore coats all fit under the workwear style, but I haven't seen these items being worn recently. Workwear will always be a thing in fashion based on its functionality and affordability. It'll be interesting to see if Carhartt jackets, double knees, and carpenter pants will be as widely worn this fall. Switching over to my favorite sneaker of all time, Jordan 1s have really lost the hype the model held over the last couple of years. Jordan 1s were so hyped that every cut from highs to mids to lows were highly desired and held resale value. Yes, people still are wearing and always will wear Jordan 1s because of its history and timeless design. However, just like any super popular trend, eventually it becomes too mainstream and loses the same value people once associated with the trend. Recent releases that have underperformed are the Marina 1s, Heritage 1s, Bread Toes, as well as the Shadow Toes. Similar to workwear, a brand that will be affected by the spring-summer weather is Arteryx. To clarify, I still think Gorkcore will be popular this summer, but what made the most noise for Arteryx recently in the streetwear fashion world was their waterproof jackets. The shower videos are no longer being made. I expected to see lots of rainy day fits using Arteryx shells, but so far have only really seen outfits using Arteryx products from hiking pages. Arteryx will definitely have its core consumers who already loved the brand before the hype and those who adopted the popular Gorpcore style. But at the end of the day, I can't see quote unquote hype beasts continuing to buy these expensive products if there isn't hype surrounding the brand. What trends do you think are dead and which are here to stay?